Hey everybody, it's the OMAD Dad. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, a channel that's dedicated to living the OMAD lifestyle or eating just one meal a day. Today I want to talk about binges, uh, and most specifically, unplanned binges. I'm not talking about the splurges that are well-timed, that you have every, once every couple of weeks, maybe once a month, uh, where it's well-timed, it's well-planned, and you know, uh, exact, but in, also well controlled, and you know what you're doing. I'm talking about being in a situation where you take the whole day and you kind of go off the rails. What do you do? Uh, the holidays are no longer really upon us, but there's always going to be a holiday. There's always going to be an anniversary or a special day, or maybe it's nothing special at all. Maybe you're in um, a, a new city or you're traveling, and uh, you're, there's just a, a bunch of very tempting food around. So how do you handle that if you're on OMAD? How do you handle those unplanned binges? Well, like the Taylor Swift song says, you have to shake it off. It happened. You're not going to be able to get your time back. So shake it off and move on. Focus on making the next days, the next weeks, the next months work, making it, a, making it better for yourself. Stick to your plan after that. You don't need to go on a 48 or 72 hour fast. Uh, you don't have to uh, do any sort of long extended fasting or you know extra exercise to try and make up for it. It's happened, it's done, move on with it. Uh, you'll have better peace of mind if you follow this advice. Uh, I see a lot of people, particularly on social media, they've had one of these unplanned binges and they're just completely crushed and they're beating themselves up for it. Uh, and yes, it's not ideal. Uh, I'm not going to pat you on the back and say, well, good job, you, you know, went off the rails today. But, you know, you can't just sit there def in a defeated state beating yourself up because otherwise you won't be motivated to move on. Another thing that you should try to do too is catch yourself in the middle of a binge. If, you, if you're starting to get a little out of control for the day and this unplanned splurge is, is happening, stop yourself. Try and stop yourself immediately. It, it's okay if you stretched out your window a little bit and you're not really quite eating just the one meal. Uh, it's okay if you're, you're going you know, and having a little bit of fun with the day. But don't allow yourself to go too crazy. Don't allow yourself to just go completely off the rails. You know, sometimes the thinking could be, well, I didn't eat my, I, I've already eaten more than my one meal today. I've already gone off my plan today, so I might as well just go crazy. That's the wrong kind of thinking. You have to stay in control. And for those days that are just too tempting and, it's, it, it, and it gets the best of you, then move on with it and focus on making the next day as best as you possibly can. I will say this. If you find yourself having frequent binges, if you find yourself frequently having these out of control eating fests uh, and you you probably are going to want to seek professional help because these are dangerous and this could lead to uh, a lot of problems for you in the future this is something that can happen even if you're not on nomad though so it's something you want to be aware of so know when to seek professional help but other than that if you've had that uncontrolled binge and, and it's you, you've gone a little crazy today on a binge uh, you didn't plan it and it wasn't well thought out move on Pick yourself up by the bootstraps, move on. Tomorrow is another day. Focus on making that day and the next day and the day after count. And be diligent about it. Watch, you know, you know watch what you're doing. Uh, try and catch yourself in the middle of it. Uh, another helpful thing to do too would be to write down, if the, these situations happen semi-regularly, write down what caused and triggered the whole thing. You may find that what's causing and triggering these behaviors are similar things it's you know it might be the same trigger maybe a couple things or maybe even just one specifically that whenever you're in that situation or wherever you're near blank uh, this is causing you to have a splurge day that's not planned or uh, even a binge so that's just something to think about these things happen to everybody um, you, you know uh, you know some you know worse than others but uh, you have to understand too that we are programmed, it's programmed in our DNA to seek after calories. Uh, you know, this is, we haven't historically had an environment like this for tens of thousands of years where food was just so readily available all the time. We are in a really saturated food market. This is a new phenomenon uh, and we still have some of the old programming 
in our DNA that's embedded within us that uh, you know seeks out the extra calories for those lean days but uh, if we as a society as we as a human beings don't ever have actual lean days then we just keep eating and eating and we get sicker and fatter uh, so that's the whole reasoning the whole science behind why people would consciously choose to fast or to skip a meal here and there because we need to have that sort of that level of control you know that level of checks and balances that nature used to naturally provide but now our environment is totally changed and we are in a saturated food market so something to be aware of you have a binge shake it off move on make the next day count make the next day after that and the next week the next month the next year make it count you can do this pick yourself up by the bootstraps and carry on and that's just it for today just a quick message i wanted to share that with you guys today i hope you guys are having a great week very happy omad and be well